Hey guys, it's Ben with Myers Woodshop, and today I'm not showing you anything with wood, anything with CNC. I'm showing you something about filming yourself. So you know I do a lot of YouTube videos. Of course, if you're here, you know it. I want to talk a little bit about the items I use to film these videos. So I use a Lumix G7 to film the videos, and what I've been using in the past is a shotgun mic just like this. It actually came in a kit with the Lumix. It's a Rode little shotgun mic, and that's how I've been picking up a lot of my audio. I'm now using this lapel mic. It was about 18 bucks on Amazon. It works really well, and it has a 20-foot cord, so I can reach all the way across my shop because I'm in a 16 by 20. However, that cord tangles like crazy. The sound quality is awesome, but it is super annoying, and it's something I have to deal with when I move around the shop or if I cut in between takes and I have to go get something, I gotta unplug it, get it out from my shirt, blah, blah, blah. And it's been a pain. I've been looking at wireless receivers and microphones and they were all really expensive and I didn't know if I was buying a good brand. I didn't know if a Chinese brand would mess up. I didn't want big wires. I like little compact things that just work. So what I found is this Rode Wireless Go kit. It's the wireless transceiver, and it's actually cheaper than a lot of other options I was looking at. Of course, I'm looking at Amazon. The cheapest one I found was $299, $399, somewhere in that range, and I still wasn't really sure if it was a good receiver. So I trust Rode, I know it's an American brand, and I wanted to give it a try. So what you get in this box is you get these two little receivers. One is the microphone, that will clip on you or you can put in your pocket and give you uh, a lapel mic because it has a little uh, mic on there and the other one is a receiver what's really awesome about this is that this little uh, clip actually clips in to where the shotgun mic or where you know that little connector at the top of your camera will slip right in there and hold it perfectly steady it was really smart on their design and then you get the cable to plug in on the side and you plug that right into your camera and that's all you need on your camera. There's no little external mics or weird things that you have to deal with. Tiny, compact, you can slip it in your pocket and you'll never forget it. And then this part, it simply has a power button, you turn it on, there's no other buttons. You turn it on and it automatically connects. These things were paired out of the box. Uh, it does have a pair button on the transmitter. The, the power button actually works as a pair button on this if for some reason they come unpaired. And then the transmitter also has a DB button uh, to turn it up or turn it down. Um, that's it, that's all, that's all there is. They automatically jump bands. Uh, it's a 2.4 wireless technology that automatically jump bands uh, to find the best one in case you're interfering. Cause like I have wireless out here and it'll jump bands off of there. So there's no fuss, no muss. You just plug them in and they work. And I really like that. Let's take a look at the packaging. This is the box. Once you pull off the cover, it was tiny. Um, we'll flip it open. And guess what? Those are the instructions. There were no instructions in this. And what I love is it's literally just one page. So you know it's gonna be easy. So let's take a look. So this is the front instructions on the actual receiver you wear or you put in your pocket or clip to your belt. It has a battery indicator, a link indicator, a microphone slot. You have a USB-C charging port on this one and the other one, that's how they charge USB-C cables that are provided. However, it doesn't have the plug into the wall. Then on the transmitter, you have a uh, plug to plug into your camera, a USB-C plug to charge, a power button, a link plug, and a DB button. So that's showing you the quick start guide. There's really not much to remember and or forget. And then the instruction manual is literally the other page. I love it, it's only two steps. So on the TX part, the part that you actually have on your person, you turn it on. And then on number two, you put it on yourself or in your pocket. And then number three, you turn on the RX part, the part that's on your camera. And number four, you attach it to your camera and that's it. That's all there is, simple as that. Now let's get to the other parts where I compare the sound quality because that's really what matters to you. Okay, so I'm from me to the camera. You can see I can touch it. This is using the shotgun mic and I'll keep talking as I go backwards. It should get less and less in quality. I'm going to the back of my shop and it still should get less in quality. You should still pick me up. 
So this is the furthest distance it would be in my shop, and this is with the shotgun mic. So let me come closer so you can hear the difference. This is the quality of the shotgun mic on my camera. So now as you can see, I'm holding a lapel mic that's corded that uh, is a jumbled mess. And I got it because it's really long. Let me clip it to my throat. Because it was only like $18 and it gave me better quality sound than the shotgun mic. However, I gotta drag a cord all around the shop and I hate doing that. So if I can untangle this as I go, which is uh, gonna take me a while, I'll try to give you the best sounding sound that you can get. And this is why I love it because the sound is great, but I hate it because the sound is trash because I have to mess with a cord. So this is about as far as my cord will go and the sound should be still fantastic with this. Now this one has a switch on it where it switches up to camera and down to off. It's got a battery inside. I'll show you that real close. My camera will focus on that. It's got a camera on, camera off. Uh, so this is like a little battery pack I have to stick in my pocket. So this is the lapel mic with my phone. Now let's switch to the road and we can get a test on how good that sounds. Okay, so I have the transmitter hooked up and here's the road. I'm actually talking through the microphone on the thing without a lapel mic. It does have a spot for the lapel mic, but I'm just gonna use this. So I'm gonna clip this to myself. It looks like it'd be uncomfortable and awkward because it's a square. For what it is, it's really small. So I can do that and you can hear me right now. I'm really close to it. Or I can flip it around and of course, I'm sure it's weird when I'm touching it like that. That really isn't too bad. I don't think on camera you wouldn't really know what I'm doing. So let me back up and see how the sound quality is. I'm about uh, seven foot away right here. I'm going to the other side of the shop. Total size is 20 foot. I'm going to get back as far as I can. And here you go. I'm as back as far as I can in my shop and you can still hear me. I can see the mic thing moving up, so it should pick up pretty well. Let's take it outside and see how well it does its side uh, and going even further than this. All right, here we are outside and I'm gonna continue walking backwards. My air conditioner just came on, so we'll see if this picks that up. So I'm about 15 foot here. I'm gonna keep going and see if we ever have any dropout. I can tell that it's still working because it can kind of see the monitor, monitor uh, bouncing up and down with sound but here we are really far away from it and I can't even guess, I don't know. And we're about, I'd say 30, 30 yards, 40 yards away from the mic. This is as far back as I can go in my yard. So this is the sound quality of that road all the way out here. It's really nice I don't need to worry about any cables while I'm all the way outside. Also, the battery life should be about four to six hours, I think they say. You charge it with a USB-C, and each one comes with a cable, but it doesn't come with a wall outlet. So you'll need uh, two USB ports to be able to charge these simultaneously. And that's the sound quality of the Rode Clip-On mic. Okay, so I have the Rode Clip-On mic. I'm gonna leave it right here for now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that mic I used earlier, um, the lapel mic, I'm gonna plug it into here so then it'll be transmitting straight through this and we'll see if the lapel works as well. So let me pull this off. I'll plug this right into here. And now you should be getting the sound through the lapel mic. So I'll put this on my waistband. I'll move back so you can see me do that. Put it in my pocket. There it is and then I'll clip this one to right here, and you can hear me through the lapel. That way if you want to use the lapel and not have that giant square clipped to your neck, although it really wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, I don't really know how it comes in through sound. We'll hear it after I play this back. But now we have it through the lapel through this little road mic. So any uh, lapel mic should work. I'm having to switch this one to the camera position where like the battery actually turns on. Um, that it is now transmitting through the little transmitter back through the camera. So that way I can do uh, a lapel mic through this, or if I choose not to, I'll pull it out so we can hear it right now.
Now it's going straight through this again. I disconnected it, so I don't know if the sound is a little different. I'll hold it out so you can see now how it sounds all the way out here. I'll hold it out here so you can see if it's picking me up from out here. Hopefully that sounds well too. I can see the sound bars bouncing up. So that's it. That's it for this road. Uh, the sound quality is definitely better than the shotgun mic, I can tell you that. Thanks for watching this, guys. I hope this helped you decide if this thing was right for you, or this thing was right for you, or this thing was right for you. If you like any of these, if this helped you out at all, please click the links in the description below. That actually helps me buy things like this and show them off to you. That's actually how I bought this. Uh, you guys click the links and help me get some Amazon credit so I can buy this stuff and show it off to you and let you know if it's good or not. So this was the Rode Wireless Go symbol. They did not provide this. I actually bought it with the Amazon credit from you guys clicking on my links. So I appreciate that very well. Click on these other links if you want to see any of my other videos. And I'll see you next time. Happy filming. Well, it was only $18 on Amazon. It's home.